Hello everyone. Um, life is still chaotic. I am filming a little update. I'm just going to film who all is in my nursery uh, right now. Um, my mom is still in the hospital. Hello, the mug. Um, she was on a vent, on a ventilator for 18 days. But two days ago, they took the vent out and she is now able to breathe on her own, but she's still pretty much unresponsive. So we have moved her into an extended care facility, which all of this has taken up a lot of time and energy. Um, I'm still very much rescuing. So between that and my mom, uh, it's, it, it's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but I did think, well, because we have transport tomorrow and it's gonna change just a tiny bit in here, but I thought I would show you who I have. Now, this is Marley. Can you say hi, Marley? Marley is eating lunch. Hello, hello. Marley is being held for just a couple hours um, and then going to a foster that has three others, Marley's size. Marley has been in a different foster um, in quarantine, uh, came in as a singleton, but we don't like to have singletons, but we do have quarantine procedures. So now Marley is weaned. Litter box trained, uh, healthy, vaccinated, and will go this evening to another foster that has three his size, so he gets friends, which is what we love. Here, we have another singleton who's a bit feisty. Yes, and his name is Rascal. Oh, Rascal, you ate all your lunch. Oh, Rascal has Rascal does love you. Once you figure Rascal out, come here, come here, come here. But Rascal had, Rascal was feral, but I have made him love me. Um, two bot flies. Here is a hole, and there's a bot fly right there. Hole. We've gotten the bot flies out. And then, can we flip you over? Can we flip you over? No, no, no. Okay, no, baby. Wait. There. There. No, you have to love me. You have to love me. And then here, let's come here. Oh, gentle. Gentle. And then there is the other one. Look, and just a ragdoll. I mean, like, he's not a ragdoll, but he acts like one. He just flops everywhere. Um, there you go. Can you stay out here with me? I do love you. He has come so far, though, because when he first came in, he wanted to eat my face. But he no longer wants to eat my face. He does actually love me now. Here, look up. Look, aren't you pretty? And his eyeball, we saved his eyeball. I thought we wouldn't be able to. You should have seen it. Because the bot fly is right under the eye. And it did look like he didn't have one eye. But he does. Yes, he does. He has a whole eye. Yeah. Oh. But it's swollen. Yes. Yes, but he is doing amazing. He is a singleton. He has a couple more days in this playpen. And then he and she get to, yeah, do you get it? You're gonna get a friend soon. Now this baby, yeah, this baby has been with me the longest of the three. This baby, something horrible happened to her. She was kind of, she wasn't feral, but she was scared. She was an outside kitty. And something happened to her right front leg. Um, we don't know if she got run over by a lawnmower or if she got stuck in a car engine, but she came in without that leg. Now, she has been to the vet and they did um, do some, they cleaned it up they trim some skin um, and she was in, she was when she first came in really bandaged up, but she only wore that a couple days before we had to take it off. Aren't you beautiful? Yes. Um, and she is 
really she's been in long enough to have a friend um but the black fly kitten has another day uh or two i can't remember but what we're doing hi is she not gorgeous and she's so sweet she was kind of standoffish when she first came in i know you haven't finished your lunch um she was a bit standoffish when she came in but over time has learned to love me but tomorrow is transport and these two kittens it is going to be a mess in here i have not cleaned yet um these two kittens are transporting and they are all that's left of my original ferals. There are four in here, but two um, transported last week and have been adopted. And then these two will transport tomorrow. And I bet they get adopted really soon. I would go in there, but I can't um, climb over these without both hands because I've gotten old now <laughs> and I'll fall. <laughs> Um, but yes, so they will leave tomorrow. Oh, hi. I know this still, oh, they, they are still reluctant, but where they're going works with ferals, um, and stuff to get them adopted. So fingers crossed. But what will happen is tomorrow, not tomorrow, cause I'll have to sanitize, but probably the day after. I'll sand it, I'll pull these down, sanitize them, um, clean this whole area, and then put these panels back up and put these two in there. Because one, the tripod needs to learn to walk with just the three legs now that she's healed. Um, she couldn't at first. Uh, the vet said let her heal. And then two, they have to be quarantined a certain amount of time. So Marley will get another foster home. These two will go together in there. Tran the two in there will transport. And then I'm sure I'll get new kittens right here. Um, and then look, these are our bags. I don't know, you know what I did like two weekends ago? I went on this huge, like best friends of Northwest Arkansas had this big super adoption event. And I went and we took like 10 cat kittens that all got adopted. We had like bags, we had um, our band, like it was an all day event. I did not film a drop. I'm so mad at myself, but it is so like between my mom and it's so hot here. It is like 98, 100 degrees and it's been like that. And when, and this was kind of like an outside thing. Well, the cats, we got to go in, but it's still, because people in and out, it's still so hot. I. I was, it was like all we could do. <laughs> it was so hot, but it was good. I think best friends total because like all the shelters and rescues that came, hi babies. Um, I believe they had over 300 adoptions um, because it's in the corner of this like tri-state area. So like there were several like, there was tons of people from three different states that came for adoption and there was all these like fun activities for, now we didn't do, cats don't really get fun activities because you can't, but the dogs did. You know, you can't have cats out running around. Um, but yeah, I didn't film any of that, but that's what, that's the leftover stuff from that. I'm telling you, I hadn't had time to do anything. Okay, well I have successfully rambled for almost 10 minutes, which you guys, the, one, your, the OG um, viewers love when I ramble, so here you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, are you good? Okay, everybody, I know, I know. I'll come rub your belly as soon as I'm done. That one loves belly rubs. Where you at, Marley? Are you in the thing? Okay. And then, hi, Mimi. I'll get you, you want a little bit more lunch? It wouldn't hurt you to eat some more. Okay, well, thank you everybody for your patience and your love. Oh, oh, maybe I'll remember. Also, I have several mail times I need to get up. Um, John 
Mr. Meow, I mean Catherine, or Kathy, not Catherine, Kathy, or maybe you are Catherine, I don't know, um, have all sent stuff from the wish list, and you don't know how much that has come in handy and so helpful, especially right now, because I cannot keep up with everything, and there's a million of I have like so many fosters now. Oh, it's ridiculous. And the supplies and the, and we, you know, so I'm very, very thankful. Oh, I wonder if I can attach. I don't know. If, if I have time to edit, because when I film these, I can just put them up. I don't have to edit them. But to put on the mail times, I have to like edit. Um, but just know that if you have sent stuff, I am so thankful. I cannot tell you how much it makes my life easier. Um, and I just, I love all you guys. I love y'all. Thank you so much. 